Welcome to Active Living at the Active Life. My name is Dan Wooten, your host for this monthly television show featuring activities and opportunities for older adults. This month we're going to be focusing on a key component at the Active Life and that is the United Way of West Georgia. We receive funding through the United Way and it helps us to serve more people and impact more people's lives. Uh, so we're going to meet with Patty Youngblood who's the president of United Way and talk a little bit about the campaign kickoff that took place this morning. So stay tuned. We're joined by Patty Youngblood of the United Way of West Georgia. Welcome, Patty. Thank you, Dan. I'm so glad to be here. We just got back for an amazing event. Didn't we? we did. It was so exciting. It was great. Tell us a little bit about this uh, campaign uh, kickoff event that we did today. Well, our campaign this year is a superhero theme. It's a beautiful um, shirt. Thank you. Our campaign uh, chairman is Jack Mormon, who is a superhero aficionado. Mm. And so when we went to talk to him to ask him about being campaign chairman, we took a folder and had put the Superman logo on it. And when we put it across the table, he went, oh, I like this. And I said, Jack, we can do a superhero ca uh, ca campaign for you. So he said, that's exactly what I want to do. And we got to look in, and he found some posters um, from a superhero campaign in Calgary, Canada. He found some cutouts, superhero cutouts he wanted us to have. And he said, now, if we could do this. So I made it my mission to do everything he wanted to oh. do. And Lee Cathy was the, the photographer who helped us with all the printed materials and stuff. United Ways in, like I said, Calgary, Canada, Alberta, Canada, and Macon, Georgia, all have done superhero campaigns. So I contacted them. We got their artwork. This particular logo came from Macon. Mm. And so this morning, it was, I mean, it was almost electric in there. We had almost two, we, I guess we had about 200 people for breakfast downtown at Delavant. And all the decorations were red, yellow, and blue, um, just like Superman. And um, it was just phenomenal. Jack has been working on this for, since May. Uh, and my favorite part is when he did the t-shirt oh, reveal. That, that was so awesome. <laughs> well, and then he got his cape oh, put yes. on him by his personal assistant. So. I know that's it. For most, most of us guys, that's a dream come true. We always <laughs> want to be superheroes. Exactly. And, and then to have a handmaiden. I know. <laughs> so that was, that that was, was cool. phenomenal. And then he had started, as you know, um, back in June, I sent out an email to our agency directors and said, if you've got stories, and he said, had four questions, and he started working on that presentation back then. Amazing. He was amazing. He told stories that he's been practicing on this for a long time, and every time he, he and I've met every two weeks, and he'd say, okay, I want to try out part of my, my spiel with you. And I'd sit there just fighting tears because, you know, for me, I'm in, I'm in the office. I'm support. I help you guys as much as we can with money and planning and advice and all that kind of stuff but so I don't see it every day and when you hear those stories it reminds me of why we do what we do yes. and we couldn't do what we do without our agencies and our agency directors but we couldn't do it without the community either that's right and you and I were talking earlier about how supportive our local um, businesses are yes it's just amazing um, brings tears to my eyes to think about it. Right now we've got a campaign going on at Belks and I talked to their um, general manager was here today uh, at the kickoff and he was saying they've already doubled their campaign from last year. Oh, that is amazing. Isn't that wonderful? And we've, we've had uh, American Home Shield came uh, uh, to do a service project. Uh, in honor of United Way here. It served us an uh, ice cream party. Wow. We had over a hundred people come and participate in that and they did some other service projects. 
and we've got Publix that's going to sponsor our 100 year birthday celebration for one of our members. Isn't that fantastic? So, and that's what service. people don't realize that United Way does. We get calls from companies and they'll say, this is what we need from you. Find, a, uh, find an agency that needs help or that has a project or something. And that's where United Way works to put people, to match up need and um, desire. That, that is amazing. So. Now, some people misunderstand United Way and don't understand about what United Way is all about. So for maybe some viewers that are under, don't understand what United Way is or think it's a charity in itself, t talk a little bit about what United Way and what, what's the advantage of a community having United Way? Oh my goodness. The, the advantage of a United Way is that you have an organization that number one keeps businesses from being bombarded by we represent 25 different organizations and if a company gives to United Way they're actually giving to all 25 of those agencies mm -hmm. so it helps them in that they're not bombarded by fundraisers all the time it doesn't mean that they're not asked to sponsor programs or things but the other thing the really really unique thing about being a United Way agency is our allocations process because we just kicked off our campaign today to raise money and then in March we will give allocations of next year's funding. We invite the community, anybody in the community who wants to participate. In January we start soliciting volunteers from the community. We put them on teams and each team is led by one of our board members. They go to four or five different agencies and they get to tour the agency, meet with the staff, sometimes they meet with board members, they might meet with clients, and they get to see how the organization operates. They get to look at their budget, they get to ask questions, and not many organizations, if they're not a United Way agency, provide that kind of local oversight. The other thing is, you get a new set of eyes coming in to see the agencies, and people make suggestions that are very often wonderful that people who do the kind of work we do day after day don't even think about because they're coming from a different perspective. So um, really I think, you know, our campaign is wonderful and we couldn't help as many people. Last year over 21,000 people were helped by United Way agencies in our, in our local community, I mean, you know, in our local area. We're West Georgia, so we serve Troop Herd and Meriwether County, and sometimes people call us from a little bit farther away, and if we have resources, then we can help them as well. But just having that oversight from the public, from the general public, to come in and say, I'm giving my money, I want to know where it goes. Yes. And again, we have, um, and I tell this story often, we have an audit every year. We're required to have an audit, and Right after I'd been here a year or two, I got a call from a, an elected official who said, can I, come, can I get a copy of your budget? And I said, our United Way budget? Do you want our agency budgets? What do you want? I want to see your budget. And I said, well, if you've got about 30 minutes, if you'll come up to my office, I'll go over our audit, our audit with you. And he said, you do that? And I said, sure, come on up. So he came up later that afternoon, and we spent about 45 minutes. And when he left, he said, oh my gosh, I had no idea the work that, that y'all do and all the people that you touch. So we want people to know where our money goes. We want people to know what we do. That is important today, because you hear of so much deception going on and money not going to the right places, what people, when they donate, expect. And, and so that kind of uh, openness is a breath of fresh air. Well, it, and it's just what we have to do because we operate as a public trust and take that very seriously. As a matter of fact, when we do our allocations, we reserve a, par a portion of the money that we raise for an uncollectible allowance because we know that there are people who are going to move, get transferred, lose their job, something's going to happen, illness or something, and they're not going to be able to f fulfill their pledge. So we don't want to obligate money that we, we're not going to get. 
at the end of the year, um, we do, if we have funds left, um, we've funded Teen Maze um, for ever since it started. About uh, five, I think it's $5,000 now. But that's because some of that money did come in. So we didn't take anything away okay. from y'all. <laughs> <laughs> What's the campaign goal for this year? Our campaign goal this year is $1 million. Wonderful, wonderful. And if we raise it, it I mean, it, it goes back into the community, so. Right, and so uh, a, a lot of people don't realize a lot of their employers, they can do payroll deduction. Those companies that do this campaign that have that as an option, right? Right, that, and that for us is, is the best option because the, pay, uh, the company themselves uh, take it out. It's just like anything else that's withheld from an employee's um, check by choice and then they send one contribution to us either once a month, some people send it every pay period, some people send it quarterly, um, but that for us is, is ideal. But we like checks from individuals, okay. we like cash, okay. we still take cash, Thanks. we take credit cards. Um, we've just recently um, hired somebody to beef up our marketing for us and so our website will be um, have a way to donate donate on the website. I think you can donate through our Facebook page. Excellent. Excellent. So, well, Patty, we're going to take a little break now. We're going to come back and we'll talk about um, the agencies of the United Way, okay. who they are, and when you give one gift, how you're able to impact so many people. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, how people can help and also volunteer. So, great. We'll be right back. United Way? Because in some way, everyone in our community is touched by your donation to United Way of West Georgia. Yes, everyone. United Way helps 25 local agencies touch thousands of lives, even yours. To cause so many good things to happen, these organizations must have volunteers. Fortunately, more than 2,300 local volunteers are now giving time to the 25 local organizations that United Way of West Georgia helps support. Yes, more than 2,300 volunteers. But more are needed. Please volunteer your time, as well as your financial support. You'll be astonished at what you'll receive in return. This symbol right here is also a symbol that we allow us to treat our money. 
I got it. I made it, and I'm not going to let it go. And, you know, it makes a lot of sense. We've gone through some really difficult economic times over the past several years, and I want to hold on to this dollar. I'm going to hold tight. I'm going to squeeze this dollar. I'm not going to let anything go out. But if we hold it so tight that nothing comes out, we also can't receive anything back. This, the open hand, is represented on the logo of our shirts. It's the logo of United Way. That open hand is still holding the money. But the open hand also lets some of that money go out to help those that are in need. Welcome back. I'm here with Patty Youngblood of the United Way. Patty, we, we're talking about the impact that people can have by giving to the United Way. A lot of people misunderstand the, the number of agencies or don't realize the reach that they have when they give to the United Way, how it can impact so many people's lives. Talk about these 25 agencies and some of the variety of different services that the agencies provide. It's amazing. Um, we were talking about the kickoff and Jack Mormon was talking in, in stories. He's a storyteller and came across so beautifully. But we help everything from children. Um, at Mady Smith, they're taking children now in the baby room. They have a room for six babies and they take them at eight weeks old. I think it's six or eight weeks old. Um, again, you're here at the Active Life where you're helping people on the other end. Um, in 2002, the Board of Directors of United Way made a commitment that 50% of the funds that United Way um, gives in to the community would fund activities for youth. So we do have a number of programs that serve youth. Everything from Mady Smith, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Camp Viola, um, communities and schools. We have a Success by Six program that helps children who are not in a preschool program but uh, maybe mom isn't ready to for that separation or mom you know can't afford it and it's we have a a weekly preschool that's run by two certified <laughs> retired teachers um, that is just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. We have D Harmony House Domestic Violence Shelter and you were talking about volunteering. Uh, Jack told a story about two children who were at Harmony House. Mom was off doing some paperwork or something with one of the people there and there was a volunteer eating with the children who told the story about two kids and one of them was scared to eat and then the older child put his hand on his sister's shoulder and said don't worry if you don't eat it they're not going to throw it at you and they're not going to yell at you and if you like it you might you can even have seconds and living in the world that you and I live in that's would never cross my mind but that's what's out there and those are the kinds of lives that we touch a mom who can't afford has lost her job so she can't afford child care but without child care she can't find a new job and Mady Smith providing child care free of charge for that mom so she could go out and find a job to support herself and her family and then at the end of three weeks, the mom has a job and comes in and pays for everything they've done. Um, and Maxine had no, no clue that that was going to happen. But it's, it's the senior citizens who go and their foster grandparents. You know, it benefits both the foster grandparents and the children. Maybe that child's been yelled at in the morning maybe for not eating breakfast or something. And they come to school and they just, they can't focus on learning right away. Well, there's that grandmother or grandfather in the classroom who can take that child and sit with them and talk with them just to give them that extra little bit of love. They hear stories when we go on our, we're talking about doing site visits. I always hear about, you know, the, the foster grandparents will talk about being in a grocery store and one of the children that they work in their classroom comes up, and, Grandmama, Grandma, Mama, this is the Grandmama that I've been telling you about. <laughs> and the mother, would say to the uh, foster grandparent, well, I'm glad to meet you because he's been talking about this grandmama in his classroom and I had no idea who he was talking about. I mean, it's just, and, and the special relationships mm. that people who are serving others develop with the people that they serve. And where the foster grandparents benefit the children, the foster grandparents have an opportunity 
to really feel needed. Mm. I mean, who doesn't want to feel needed and to have a reason to get up and get at, just like the senior center, I mean, the active, excuse me, the active life. Uh. <laughs> um, you know, these people have a reason to get up to come see their friends. Yes. Um, right. So there's so many agencies in it, you know, amazement, like the Red Cross, Salvation Army, Boys and Girls Club. You go down the list and you think, you know, if I'm going to give something, you know, it's amazing just the impact one gift to United Way could spread across ages in different situations and help people out. And so I think it's, I think it's just a wise way to give to know that you're going to be giving to a place that has good oversight of the funds to be sure they're going to the right place and that there are these agencies that have such a key component in our society you know that that you could be able to impact and help people by and one gift it's it's amazing and a lot of people feel like well i can't give i can't give much and that's fine if if you give a dollar a week it's fifty two dollars mm -hmm. and last year we asked our agencies what fifty two dollars a year could do for them you know we fund self-help harbor most people don't even know what self-help harbor is it's our twelve-step programs all in one location it can buy all the materials that a person who is in the twelve-step program can help buy their literature for ten people it can pay for um, I'm trying to think, for meals in the shelter, if we have to open a shelter for the Red Cross. There are just all kinds of things that a dollar a week it. can do. And that, and that goal of a million dollars, that's not, you're not expecting one person to do that. It's a team community effort, is it, to bring together. And if, if somebody gives a little or a lot, it's all part of the, that campaign that can impact uh, our whole community. You're exactly right. One of my favorite United Way videos was years ago and there was a dad who was going to you know it was bring your parent to work to school day and they were going to talk about their um what they did for a living and this one dad sitting there and there's a professional football player and there's a mom who's a firefighter and he was sitting there feeling real embarrassed and he got up and said i, I just don't know what to say when i'm you know all the superheroes we've got here and i work for united way and the firefighter started talking about, yes, but without United Way, we wouldn't have all the, the smoke alarms in, in the houses, and we wouldn't have people in shelters, and we wouldn't have this, and we would, and he started standing up a little bit straighter, and then the other, the football player started talking about the partnership between United Way and the NFL, and, and pretty soon he's standing up real tall talking about what we do, and this, at the end of it, this little girl comes up, and he said, she says, here would my quarter help and at that point I've got tears running down my face I can hardly tell the story now and he said yes he said your quarter will be added with her quarter and with her quarter and with his quarter and together they'll change the community and that's what it's all about well the United Way has some staff like you but it's a very small group <laughs> but yes. when you have you have your board that's made up of community volunteers You've got your allocations committees that's made up of community volunteers. I mean, the total number of volunteers is huge compared to the small staff that it you've is, got. It is, and that's to, how we can do that. That's how you're able to do all of that together because of the community support. And that's, that's one thing that's beautiful about the United Way. It brings together the community to say, we want a better community. Right. We want to help these people in need, and we want to do it in a systematic, organized way, not a haphazard. In a, in a way that has accountability. And I think that's a, the beautiful picture that United Way can offer to any community. Well, thank you. I, that's, that's what we try to do. <laughs> and a great example of that is Mary Market. We have an event coming up in October, um, October 20th through 22nd. That's, um, it's a retail market. It's all run by volunteers for United Way. And it benefits early learning programs in the United Way. So um, and we couldn't do it without volunteers. And we're always looking for new volunteers. So if anybody out okay. there wants to volunteer, call the United Way okay. office. And what, tell us the number. What is the number of the United the Way? The number of the United Way is 706-884-8292. Okay. I always have to say that slowly because I usually am rattling off LaGrange personal aid. 
So people, when they call that number, call probably regularly looking for resources, right? Or they may be in a situation and are trying to help a friend out. Do you get those kind of phone calls where and you're able to refer them to various agencies? We do. We function as an information and referral okay. organization okay. as well as a funding organization. Okay. And then occasionally people will call and say, hey, I want to volunteer, I want to help and you're able to kind of point them toward the direction of their interest of right. all the agencies. Their time you're... availability okay. and their interest and sometimes we work with um, college students who have a project they have to do and we'll help them find something. Okay, so. yeah, that's great. Um, and, and so when, when you think of uh, this campaign season, what, when does it run from now until March? Well, actually, we hope it runs from now until December. December, okay. But right. in March, we do our funding. So, okay. you know, you get your allocation package right before Christmas, right. <laughs> usually. And um, every that's another thing, that every United Way agency has to apply every year. It's not a guarantee. And as our campaign fluctuates, the amount that you receive fluctuates. Um, but we try to really look at the needs of the community. I know you had um, a request a couple of years ago for a, a staff increase because you were addressing health needs of seniors and that was something that our allocations group felt very strongly about that this is this will move the needle our populations aging we need them to take better care of themselves and they need to resources and so that request was approved because that was really going to change lives and it has. That's yes. changed. That's been dramatic. It, it has. It has. And so, you know, uh, speaking as a proud United Way agency, we thank you as a staff for putting the time and energy and to bring this community together to, to, to make it impact. I mean, to, you know, communities, uh, you see communities where they seem, you know, not so compassionate. I think we've got a compassionate community and because of United Way is keeping these needs in front of the community and bringing the community together for that. So on behalf of the <laughs> Active Life, we say thank you, Patty, and for your staff and uh, for the whole organization that you bring together of volunteers. It, it really does make a difference. And well, so thank it you. It is a pleasure. And th <laughs> thank you for joining us today and just giving us a little sampling about the impact of the United Way. And, and I hope that people uh, out there will consider this year, um, helping to make a difference in our community through giving. And if you work at a business that has payroll deduction, uh, fair share giving is the way that I give. It's taken out of your paycheck. It's just a portion of what you earn, uh, but you know it's making a difference. Absolutely. So, thank you, Dan. So thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our show today. Hope you have a greater appreciation for the United Way and what they do in our community. We got some upcoming events I want you to know about and hopefully participate. We are starting in September, on September the 9th, a monthly ballroom dance here at the Active Life in our Wellness Center. This is a, a dance that will be on the second Friday of each month at 8 p.m. We have a live band that will be performing. Uh, and it's ballroom dancing. So you might think of Dancing with the Stars. We're not talking about dressing up glamorous, but uh, coming in casual attire in dancing. Some people uh, are more skilled at ballroom than others. It's open for everybody. It's $20 a couple. And uh, as I mentioned before, it'll be held in our Wellness Center, which is our smaller building on campus on the second Friday. Another opportunity is coming up in September. We're going to be starting a brand new line dancing class in the evenings. Monday evenings at 7 p.m. Uh, we're going to have a free line dancing class. And so again, it would be an opportunity to learn how to line dance. And our monthly dance that we hold on our second, I mean the third Saturday, uh, we have line dancing as a part of that country music dance. So it'll help you get skilled and ready for that. So take advantage of that. We've got so many activities. We've got a new Wee Bowling League starting up in September. We've got uh, trips we're taking all around Georgia and around the United States and, and around the country. So come by the Active Life and you may want to find out what we've got going on here. So don't sit at home on your sofa. Get out of the house and become active. Have a wonderful week. <laughs>